center surface of the rotator cuff. Let me give you perspective one more time. Got a few modes going right there. Little labral frames, gentlemen, but the problem is not labrum in this particular case. I subacromial uh, pathology. How do I know? It's based on history and physical exam. So I'm focusing on subacromial pathology. So yeah, uh, he's got an undersurface rotator cuff here. So what I'm doing is I'm debriding it. And, and as I'm sort of exploring it, I discover this. He's got a, he actually had a calcification. Look at that. Look at that. He actually had a calcification that I, I didn't actually see on his x-ray. Yeah, undersurface rotator cuff. A little calcification. A lot of people think the calcium is solid. Look at that. It's not, it's paste-like. Okay, all I'm doing is pushing and you can, uh, I'm gonna have to flush all this out. So this kind of explains why on the MRI, I saw what looked like a delaminated rotator cuff tear. So uh, this calcium deposit is actually embedded in the rotator cuff. Once again, let me give you perspective. Let me rotate this around so you can see where we are. Okay, ball and socket joint right there. Yes, I'm going to suck all that calcium out of there or calcium type of deposits. Shake down a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this uh, device that I have in there actually sucks. Uh, I'm going to make sure I get all this uh, calcium that's very inflammatory. That's why people that have calcific tendonitis wake up with extremely painful shoulders. So this particular patient here uh, 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 has a, a, a really good learning, learning point as well. There is some uh, degenerative labral pathology here and a little bit here and there, but the, the symptoms and history were subacromial type symptoms, subacromial space symptoms, which means uh, pain raising the arm up So I'm gonna to try to get this, uh, as much of this out from here, suck it all out. There's gonna be a, there's gonna be a, a big uh, cavity there. Because that's what this stuff does. It just leaves a big cavity, basically a rotator cuff tear. So I will be fixing the rotator cuff. I already had plans on doing it. It was a partial thickness, high grade partial thickness tear. You can see there's a discoloration right there. Let me change the color a little bit. There's actually a discoloration. There's actually more calcium right there. Once again, right shoulder arthroscopy, doing a rotator cuff repair here. And uh, there was a big calcium deposit. And once again, it's something that I actually did not see on the x-ray, uh, nor did the radiologist see it on the MRI. But here we are doing the breathement and now I'll be doing a rotator cuff repair. Just wanted to share with you what calcific tendonitis really looks like. Thank you.